I'm going to walk you through WeVideo, a really nice video editing platform. Now, what's really nice about it is it's intuitive, it's simple to use, it's fairly powerful. And when you create a digital story, you're generally going to have to do three different steps. You're going to have to record the audio, you're going to have to then add the imagery, and then finally upload it to a hosting site where people can view it. Normally, these would be three different software platforms. But WeVideo actually allows you to do all three steps in one platform. WeVideo would also be nice if you're doing, say, multiple webcam shots that you want to stitch together and, say, put transitions like fades in between them. So let's take a look at how it works. First, you register for the site and you go to the GoToHub, which is your own personal hub. And this will take you to a basic landing page that has different parts of the system. First is my projects. That's where you will build a video. A video is called a project as you're putting it together. And this is pretty common. All video editing systems pretty much use that terminology. You then have your media. And the media is what you have imported to build a project with. It could be sound files, could be videos, could be images. And finally, you're going to export the result as an actual video that people can watch. So let's come up here and click Create New Video you're going to be taken to this editing page. Now there are three basic parts of the page. On the right hand side is the window that shows you what the video looks like as it's playing. Right now of course it's blank. At the left hand side is the media and that's where you're going to put all the various components that make your video. Images, sound that you've imported, other video, stuff like that. Then at the bottom is the timeline and you're going to take the media that you import and you're going to put it into the timeline. You see this little green line here. As that green line moves, it's showing you what is being played in the video. In other words, everything in the timeline under that green arrow will show up in the video as you play it. So you're compiling the video in this timeline. And it's very nice, you can see it has time increments here that will give you a sense of how long the different elements are. And you'll see how this works. Now I'm going to start by going to Upload Media. I'll click Upload Media and I'll go to Browse. And here I'll grab the various images and the sound that's going to go into making my video. I'll hit Open. And on the right hand side you can see that they're uploading into the system. And this may take a minute of course depending on how fast your internet connection is. Once those things that you've chosen have been uploaded you can see it says Done on the right. I'm also going to upload the audio for my video that I've recorded ahead of time. So I'm going to click that and upload it. With all the elements uploaded, I'm going to go back to the timeline. And now you'll see the elements showing up here. Now what I'm going to do is start by just grabbing elements and dragging them down. I'm going to grab the audio that I created and bring it down to where you see this audio column. And when I bring it down, it's going to simply load it where I started. Note, I can drag and drop it. I can start it at 15 seconds or I can start it right at the beginning. I'm going to start it right at the beginning. Now as I mentioned, you can actually record your audio right in the system as well. See this little red recording microphone here? If I click that, it's going to allow me to record the audio. I generally use Audacity anyway just because I like the power that it gives me to modify the recording to edit it. There's really not much editing capacity in WeVideo, but if you'd like to use the recording function, you can. Next, I'm going to choose some images. And again, all I have to do is grab them and drop them down, putting them right on top of the audio that I chose. So I'm going to choose each image. I'm just going to line it up. By default, it makes each image five seconds long. I can move these images around. I can decide I want this image second rather than third or fourth rather than fifth. The other thing I can do is I can extend the length. I can put my cursor in between the two images and yet if you see this horizontal line, all I have to do is stretch that and now instead of finding five seconds, it's 10 seconds as indicated by the green line. Same with my next image. I'll make that 10 seconds or whatever. This is nice because what I can do to build a video is to simply start playing the audio. I'm going to click it and it's going to start playing. Now I've muted it just so it doesn't distract me right now. But I can listen to my voice decide right about here 
is when I want the first image to end. See the green line is right at the spot I picked. All I have to do now is move it over to that green line. Then I can continue to do that. I can listen to my audio at the spot where I want the next image to end. I simply stop it. I can see it's 17 seconds. So I'll drag this back to 17. And I can just go down the line, simply matching the image length to the audio that I've already created. A couple more things I can do is one, I can put transitions in. I can go up here to transitions and a bunch of different transitions will show up. Here's one that's wipe. So I'm simply going to drag that down and put it in between the two images. I'll do a 3D one here. Let's see what else we got. We got a cube we'll put in right here. And now I'm going to play it. And again, you're going to see on the right hand side what the video looks like as it's playing. And watch for the image transitions I just put in. So you've got the wipe that I just put in between those two images. And the same with that transition. And the same with that transition. Of course, I can just remove these just by clicking them and hitting delete or whatever. Another thing I can do is put text in if I'd like. So let's go to the beginning of this particular image. I'm going to come up to text. And I've decided I'm going to put text in. So I'm just going to grab that and put that right down there. Now I'm going to double click the text in order to get to the editing function for text. And let's just say, I don't know, look at me or something like that. You see that the text is shown up on the image. I can drag it up and down. I'll just click done editing. Now we'll back up for a second plays and you have look at me. Now at some point of course you should give your video a title. Just come up here and just give it a title. I'll call this John's bio. I'll save it. You'll save into the cloud and then eventually you're going to need to publish it. We'll click the publish button and with the free account you can publish it to the Wii video site itself. If you pay for the premium account then you can publish it to other places such as Dropbox, Drive, and things like that. So I've only got one option. All I can do is publish it to the website. And I'm just going to click Publish Video. Now you can see it's processing. So it may take a minute or two to process the video depending on upload speed and things like that. Once it's published, then all I have to do is give students the link to this video. And I can make the video private or public or whatever I want. So it's a very easy way to create video biographies or do any video editing. Give it a try.